Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alicia Jewell, and welcome to my first ever solo LP. If it isn't completely obvious by the title screen, I am going to be LPing Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. Yes, there's a game of it. No, it doesn't follow the book exactly. Yes, it's pretty damn good. Alright, I'm going to take it around in the options really quick. Um, I seem to be getting a bit of lag, so... Um, well, we'll see how it goes. Um, if the lag gets too bad, I'll mess with the options a bit. If you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. But okay, without further ado, let's get this party started. Yep, these are the graphics, folks. I hope my son's antics don't disturb you. Madam, were it in my power to sentence him to 30 days hard labor, they would not disturb me in the slightest. <laughs> Judge Wargrave, isn't he pleasant? The nerves. Smashing day for it. Lombard and Vera. On holiday? No. And there's Emily Brent and oh, General McKenzie. A... Uh, it isn't true. <laughs> oh. oh, big pardon, ma'am. Miss. Yes, of course, yes. Have to be, wouldn't it? <clears throat> right. And here he comes. Guy whose name I can't remember because he's not very important. I just call him blonde haired idiot. Then there's Dr. Armstrong. Damn fool. I suppose I'll be expected to tend to his wounds after he piles up, and I don't fear that. There's some guy I don't know. <coughs> Apparently they're making some kind of deal. I still don't quite get what this is, to be perfectly honest. No one injured at least. No apparent damage to the cars. Young fool must lead a charmed life. Eh. I'm sure it's explained and I just didn't bother to check it. Anyway, there's Blore. He's not exactly my favorite. That's the lot. My money's on the servants. The servant's usually always the guilty one in the end. Yeah, as you can probably tell me these graphics aren't the best. Even for a 2005 game. They could be a lot better. Welcome to Sticklehaven, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Davis, the Harbour Master. Compensating for something, Mr. Longcar? Sorry. Waiting for me. That's everyone then. The other bags are already on board the boat there. Uh. Blimey. It must be him. In the flesh. All set, Nerakot. Ready, sir. Right. I'll leave it to you then. Seas calm. Should be a pleasant crossing. If you leave now, there's a squall coming. I can smell it. That's never a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. Storms are never a good thing. And if you can somehow find a storm that's a good thing in any story, well, that would be pretty damn awesome. Why is it called Shipwreck Island? Well, the weather can turn nasty quickly. There are many submerged rocks, lots of wrecks hereabouts, and that big rock at the tip is said to resemble a beached schooner. The locals call it Ship Rock. You're not from around these parts, then, Mr. Naraka? No, sir, I'm not. Right. Well then... It'll never work. If you would be so good as to follow that path up to the house, my wife will show you to your rooms. I expect you'd all like to freshen up after your journey. 
Where's Fred? Under the weather. I took his place. You'd be the brother then. I see the resemblance. Will you help me with the bags? Yes. I've been hoping to get a look at the house. <coughs> so there's your intro. Yay! Chapter 1. Ten little sailor boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. If it isn't obvious, it's kind of foreshadowing something. Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Narricot. Everything and everyone nicely in place. I must say, I don't much like these clouds. I expect you should be heading back without delay. Now it begins. Don't worry, Fred. I won't let you down. Uh. Oh, just a drizzle. It's going to get much worse. Well then, this is your basic point-and-click standard fair thing. Click once to walk, click twice to run. Running is much more usual, and as far as I know, there's no real penalty for running. There's no really, like, energy thing or, like, sneaking around. I, I'm pretty sure that you could run through the house in the dead of night and not get caught, but I haven't tested that yet. So don't, don't quote me on it. And that's a bad thing right there. Someone in my boat. Fred won't be too happy about this. Nope. Okay then. Well, that was pointless. Moving along now. And he's still standing out there. Well... Okay. Mr. Narakot, why are you still on the island? Someone scuttled my boat. Scuttled? Wrecked, you mean? But who on earth would do such a thing? I intend to find out. But that means, who will come for us on Monday? Unless this storm lets up, no one. Dear me, dear me. Come in, come in. You'll catch your death out here. How nice of him. I think. I must help my wife prepare dinner. I'll have her fix you up something in the kitchen. Thank you. Alrighty. So then. Where he's going to sleep, I'll never know. Ethel won't like this one bit. Alright, let's let's get this party started some more, I guess. Let's get this. We're gonna need it later. Here's the inventory. Um, basically have a bunch of inventory slots. I'm pretty sure that they're unlimited. I, I haven't had a problem with inventory space. So, yeah. Walking stick with a bear's head handle. If you click this, you can search it closely, and if you click here, you can decompose it. And later on, we'll be, um, we'll, we'll be constructing some contraptions out of items. But for now, let's just keep on going. Um, <sighs> getting a bit glad again. Alright, let's go towards the game room, see who's in there. You're shot, Judge. Yes. You haven't left me much, I confess. I knew judges listened to confessions. I never knew they made them as well. Ooh. Oh, some judges may have cause. Some doctors as well, I expect. Well then, let's do some chatting. May I interrupt for a moment? Please, Mr. Narakot. This is a time for concentration, not conversation. Okay. He's nice. May I ask you a question? This is not a time for idle chatter. Ugh. <clears throat> well, so far this isn't um, exactly working out, but, you know, I'm gonna keep my hopes up.